What is going on guys, my name is Venster and welcome back to the Gary's Mod Tool Tutorial. In this one we're going to be looking at the emitter tool. So this one just is sort of like a little a little shape like this and it emits a certain effect, if you will, as to whatever you set it to. So looking at the tool itself, you've got your toggle key. So I'm going to leave it on G because that's what I'm used to it being on. Delay is much like the dynamite, it's how much of a time delay you want on it. And your scale is how big you want the emission to be so if it's like really small it'll just be localized and if it's huge it'll fire all over the place you've got toggle which is a bit like the winch whereas if you press it once it'll stay on until you press it again and it'll turn off if you hold it if you have it off you have to hold it which is what I'm gonna have it on and start on again is as soon as you spawn it in it'll start which I'm gonna leave off as well so what I'm gonna do for you guys is just leave it on about three so you can see and I'm just gonna click one each time and go through each one and show you each individual emitter and what it does and what it looks like so we're going to start with this one which is called man hack sparks so there we press g and it will emit a load of sparks that sort of bounce around so that was kind of cool we've got glass impact here so it looks like bullets firing at glass i don't really know if it does but that's what it's called we've got this one which is called um, spitter blood, I believe. Oh, strider blood, sorry. Which, I mean, to me it looks a bit more like diarrhea, but I guess that's just me. So there's that one. We've got pistol shells. So if you wanted this to come out the side of like a mini gun that you'd built or something to make it look more realistic, that would be an idea for that one. Combined ball sparks, which just look like normal sparks or like welding, stuff like that. We've got, what's this one? AR2 impact, what's this do? Hmm, that's kind of weird. Yeah, it's just like a little glowy ball, I guess. Don't know when that would be useful. Blood impact. Ugh. So that just looks like, you know, if you were shooting something, that's what that would look like. We've got just normal sparks flying around. Dirty water splash. Ugh. That actually frames out my computer a little bit. Wait, we've got to try that one on full, just to see. Oh, that makes like no difference. Okay. So there's that one, then there's normal water splash. Oh. Which just looks like the same as the dirty one, but clean. Stun stick impact. Which is just like lighter sparks. Uh, thunder dust. I need to put this one in the air so you can see it. If I uh, put it up here, you can kind of see a dust circle that emits from it. Um, I guess you would use this for like underneath a helicopter. So as it took off, it looked like it was kicking up dust from the ground. Muzzle. Oh god, I haven't got my tool gun out. So yeah, that one just kind of looks more like fire in my opinion. I'm not. It's supposed to be muzzle flare, but I don't know. Looks like you could have it as fire. Blood spray. So if you, you if you're losing that much blood, then you should probably go and see someone. What's this one here? Helicopter bomb explosions. So yeah, that's another fiery one. <laughs> Again, I don't know when that one would be very useful. This is a bit like the pistol one, but it emits rifle shells. So yeah, got that. Uh, these are the ones that we've used in build-offs before to like mark checkpoints and things because they kind of look like checkpoint marker. In my opinion, a normal explosion emitter. So yeah, that's <laughs> that's fun. Combine ball bounce. Which just again, most of these just look like sparks to me. I don't know. Shotgun shells, a bit like the pistol and the rifle ones, but obviously shotguns. We've got water surface explosions, which is kind of crazy as well. Again, don't know when that would be useful. And generic smoke, which when you hold it, emits a load of smoke. You kind of need to hold this one because then it sort of grows into like a column of smoke. But you only want you want to be careful with this one because it can get pretty laggy if you have several of these. And I've used quite a few in my builds before and it gets pretty laggy for servers and your own computer. And that is all of them. So obviously you can make these bigger or smaller as you see fit, but that is just an example of every single one. So thank you all so much for watching. Next time we'll be looking at the hoverballs, so make sure you tune in for that and I will see you in that video.